If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. The president said, I am going to shut the government Backed down. against a wall. Is it a true crisis? Terror is coming through. The toilets are closed. Temper tantrum. 19th day. They're seeking what a better life. I will shut down the government. Okay, okay. fair enough. To understand how we got where we are today, I think you need to go back to that day where Donald Trump descended on the golden escalator to declare his candidacy. Whoa. And to explain that the American dream is dead. And central to all of this was assuring what was to become his base that, that their problems were being caused by immigrants. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. And what Donald Trump did was blending together the economic anxieties caused by illegal immigration with fear of crime and fear of terrorism. And he had one big idea. We will build a great wall. We will build a wall. We're going to build the wall. To build the wall. And Mexico will pay for the wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. There was only build one problem build with the wall. wall. It was a fraud from the beginning. It was never going to happen. Mexico was never going to pay for it. Everyone understood that except Donald Trump. But to just say, build the darn fence and have that be the end of an immigration discussion is absurd and almost childish for someone running for president to take that simplistic a view. So for the last two years, even though Republicans controlled Congress, Donald Trump was unable to deliver on the one most important symbolic promise of his presidency, the big, beautiful wall. And now we're at the point where the president might actually invoke a national emergency to build the wall. We could call a national emergency and build it very quickly. And uh, it's another way of doing it. And I think this is something for conservatives to think about. If they're willing to go along with the president of the United States overriding the legislative process, what will they think when there is a liberal democratic president who simply declares a national emergency to invoke other sorts of progressive legislation? Would you be willing to roll back the tax cuts that Donald Trump gives? For the billionaires and the big corporations, you bet. Once you've broken down those norms, where are we going to be as conservatives? This whole argument really does reflect the degree to which the Republican Party has transformed itself. The last several shutdowns were about reining in the cost of government. This time, Republicans have shut down the federal government because they want to spend more money on a costly, ineffective boondoggle. The wall really, if it ever got built, would be in the category of the bridge to nowhere or the other kinds of wasteful federal government spending programs that conservatives used to mock and oppose, but now they own it.